So we're back here at the Judge's Wainscot install and as you can see all of this primed and it looks really good. Um, I've got all of the panel molding in from here over and a little bit in the hallway but I was kind of a doofus and I didn't order the right amount so now we're waiting. We're kind of stuck so that's why I went ahead and primed all this and really we're just waiting to get the trim in over here and after that we're going to prep and get our final top coat on there and that's where this thing comes in. I just want to say a special thanks to my wife who bought me this for our anniversary. She doesn't know it yet but she, she's very nice. She, she would have bought it for me. But this is a Graco contractor PC. They've got a 208 tip in there on a Rack X guard which you have to use for the FFLP green tips. But I got some uh, mineral spirits in there right now and look how soft that is. It even sounds like it's just ready for a fine finish. But that's cool. I thought I would kind of flex that on you guys right there before we get started talking about the sander because that's what this video is about. So this is the sander. This is the surf prepped electric orbital sander and it says right here on the button there it says it's an eighth of an inch orbit that it spins on and it's 9,000 OPM or orbits per minute that it's spinning on. So it's like a, an eighth of an inch, you know, just a real small uh, diameter there and just going like a, in a little circle. So it's this really tight buff pattern and that gives you a really fine finish. It's not like a like a orbital sander you would think of like the DeWalt that I have that just slings around in a big circle. It's a very small circle. So the reason this thing has changed our life is because we used to sand all of this, this kind of work, with 3M sanding sponges. And if you've been watching the channel, you know I used to just love 3M sanding sponges. You'd see us using them, you know, just by hand taking the sanding sponge, which is about the size of this right here. We'd take the sanding sponge and, you know, we'd get it all in the areas that we need to get it and it kind of folds around the, uh, the trim. So we really like that, but that was being done by hand. And if anything by hand, if you can eliminate, it's really just gonna save you that sweat, that stress. Just anytime it would come down to 3M sanding time, the sponge time, I would just be like, well, I better put on my headphones and find a, something good to listen to because I'm gonna be here for a while. And that's what we would do. So we're done with those. We complete, I haven't bought 3M sanding sponges in months, ever since we had this. This black piece right here, that's the pad saver. And then this is your piece of sandpaper right here, or this foam right here. What we like about it is because this right here will contour and shape around all the moldings. And I'll show you that here in a minute. So as you put your pad saver and your foam sanding pad onto the sander, I'll go ahead and uh, turn it on. And it has three settings. So the lowest one being here. There's the middle one here. And then the highest one is here. Now I typically just leave it on that highest one because the button is variable speed. So, you know, it's on the highest setting, but I don't have it pedal to the metal yet. And then I can, you know, push it more and more. So that's the sander right there. And you know, I know some people are gonna be like, well, you know, I only like cordless tools. When it comes to a sander, I don't really care because you're gonna have the hose on here anyways. So it's never like you're gonna be disconnected completely. And you really shouldn't be sanding without a uh, dust extraction hooked up somewhere. So having it corded doesn't really matter to me. It's one of the exceptions I'll make. That's enough talking. I've been talking for a long time. Let me go ahead and show you guys how this works on sanding some of this trim work. So when I push this foam pad onto the profile of that trim right there, you can see how it, it wraps around and just forms to almost every little detail of that profile. You can see I'm kind of missing some right here where that bead meets that straight part. I'm kind of missing that, but if I turn the pad another way and push down on it harder, I can get into those areas. And then if I move the pad in uh, different areas, I can also get down in there. You can see you may not be able to get the whole piece of trim in one you know, angle of the sander, but you can move it around and kind of get it to hug around like this bead down here. You know, it can, it can hug around that this way. 
it can go this way and you can see you just have to kind of move it around and see what's going to fit around a specific profile so with that said that's where this thing shines all I have to do is this and that foam just hugs around that and it's literally sanding every piece of that profile and it makes quick work of sanding these panel moldings. Hug around that bead. Once YouTube has VR where you can actually uh, reach your hand through the screen and touch stuff, you know, that's going to be a good update on YouTube's part because you guys will be able to feel this thing is like silky, silky smooth after this. So not only does it sand those profiles and make quick work of those but even these big you know flat sections right here where there are no profiles you can still make quick work of those with this yeah that's pretty much it guys i don't know what else to say about this thing other than if you haven't tried one you need to get your hands on one Try it out and see what you think about it because I wouldn't live without it now and it makes a very difficult, just tedious task easy and actually kind of fun to be honest. So there'll be a link in the top of the description if you want to check these out. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this thing and we'll see you guys on the next one.